Ranked normal Blastopopolis is the challenge. As always, with a new boss, I like to see uh, how quickly I can kill it, aka insta-kill it. So the current top times are uh, pretty crazy. We've got 130, but obviously I like to aim for it uh, around top 50, so that would be uh, sub 230. But the problem again with time bosses is that it takes so much optimization every single round that it gets really annoying to like fill out the entire map with farms and towers. So we'll see how much of that we can cut. Like keep the strategy simple enough while still getting a very good score and being able to, like, you know, delete Blast Populous, all five tiers in Blast Populous in one go. So I did skip the early game, just a quick TLDR, the usual, Geraldo, Quincy NFT, four, uh, two user farms here that I'm going to uh, get rid of to get a Monkeyopolis this round. Now, let me just say, I already unoptimized the first three rounds of the challenge. I didn't place my banana farms super well, so I might lose out maybe a couple hundred here. All right, so we want to get as many double discounts under like the farm so that when we buy two to sell them for more money, they are cheaper, so we save more money. But again, I messed up with only one discount here. It's okay though. Now we Monkey City drop this and get our NG set up real quick. So sell Monkeyopolis. If I was more optimal, I could have gotten a balloon trap a bit earlier, like this round even, but yeah, I've got a bit of a skill issue. So we're just going to build that whenever we can afford it. I think in the middle of this round, right? Yep, here we are. There's the balloon trap and retarget to the front and also give it camo so that it works next round, something like that. All right, we also want to sell the shooty turrets because remember, they're not in range of the uh, Monkeyopolis, so you want as much extra money over here as possible. But you kind of know the drill at this point. Just spam marketplaces as many as we can, and then we'll sell everything to see what we can afford uh, come round 40. I think four marketplaces is a sweet spot. Let's see if I can get that in the next four rounds or so. Or if we got to stop short at some of them. Yeah, I think I think four and then flavor trades. Now we can actually call it flavor without uh, mispronouncing it. Because... Well, it actually shoots flavored trades now when we get them. Thank you, Ninja Kiwi. Greatest edition of all time. Is it shooting out apple slices? I think it is. I do like me some apples. And okay, we're going to sell everything. And I mean everything. How much money do we have? 52? 56, if I... 57, actually, if I sold literally everything. Of course, let's redo the round so I collect the trap money. And then sell them before. And now I have 57,000. So I'm aware there is currently, like, the best strategy right now is some crazy mob eliminator tech with, like, sacrifice stun fodder for a blast pop place in the corners and all that. But I am not very big brained enough for that. So we'll just use some classic uh, attack shooter, ice spam. Keep it simple. Basically, I want a 402 primary rentering, and then plus overdrives, plus. Embrittlement plus super brittle, maybe? I'm not sure about brittle because it'll probably get it'll get stunned instantly. Because it's the most expensive by far. I don't know if it's better just to overdrive stun everything so that, you know, a cheap overdrive gets stunned rather than the ice, but IDK. Oh, I think we should also just drop some free darts after the fact. Remember there's a monkey knowledge that makes it cheaper to build them individually, I think. That means I already messed up, but whatever. Yeah, I messed up. See, 3200. For these ODs, but this one was 30-40. So that was something I definitely could have improved on. Let me drop an Imbrid here. Oh yeah, Super does all my money. I think we just spam ODs, maybe. Okay, if I'm only doing Imbrid overdrive, I don't have enough money to spend. Like, these are being gonna be terrible spots. I think I'm better off saving my money. We will do pickles for plus one damage on four of them. Because it does it does help. And then again, now we can do Sacrifice Fodder. And then, sure, why not pre-place our Flavor Trade skin and whatever. I hope it's fast enough. Three, two, one. Let go. If it doesn't instantly go down to the Skull there, then it's not that good. Hmm. That was an instance, but it's not bad. It's slowing down really quickly, though. So I don't know. No, Sharpening Stone isn't worth because there's no other balloons that really block the pierce of it. So this is going to be a 30... 
30 second kill. Is that good for overdrives? Or can I do better? That's actually 34.5 or something like that. Oh, you know what? I think it was I think it was smart that we bought flavor, because then this ended up getting stunned. Or it took the magma hit instead of another expensive tower. Okay, before I fully commit to this run, let me see what tax zone would do, because I, I need to see different options. So 34 seconds or lower, we take. Otherwise, uh, we go back to the other strategy. Uh, come on, tax zone. Please show us what you got. I think the first call was faster, but again, with the stun here, does it worse? Worsen. Yes or no? 34. 28, 29, 30. It's lower. One second slower. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Back to overdrive. Are you the only one that watches, but never understands how the bosses work? I think there's a lot of people who don't. Especially since this one is, like, the most advanced boss so far. Advanced as in, like, so many different random rules and things you have to understand about it. Also, this tack is useless. 78 pops. I think it was faster, though, for some reason. 29 was when we got the kill. So that'll be uh, under 34. Okay. We will accept that as well. So now let me sell as many as I can here for an overclock. Because I want to overclock a BRF. But of course, I want to build back my Megalopolis first. So let me wait for the round to end. So goodbye everything. And now we have a good amount of money back in our hands. Is time my favorite ranked mode? Absolutely not. I enjoy least tiers and cash more. Even though that might be maybe unpopular to some. Just because, again, every single round you have to optimize with um, time. And time almost always involves filling the entire map with something. I wanted to rush a BRF, but I didn't math everything out properly. So now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's at least get back our double gun, I guess. Double gun and balloon trap. So I am currently... uh. Still a bit away. The overclock spot is bad because, like, that forced me to move my trap all the way in the entrance. Like, see? Because my trap is here now, I've got all this residue leaking that didn't get in the trap money. Let's hope that blender didn't send me back too far, though. It just uh, it just delayed my um, BRF for, like, an extra one round or two. I feel like my farming's very slow, but that, again, might be because I sold so much for Tier 1. But even then... The Banana Central nerf really hurts, because extra 15k is an extra one round or two, delaying the uh, B Central. I'd like to aim for an early 50s one. and eh, it's probably not the best thing for mobs, but I'm just gonna get a Mauler, because I can't I can't be bothered to think of anything else. It's not that great either, because again, it pops mobs way too late. So is it really doing anything as opposed to me waiting? But I don't know, but we'll just see it through, all right? Okay, doing the math, I still need... $40,000 for everything to sell into this, so yeah, probably two rounds from now, I'd say. 36.8 this round, all right? I think I think we ought to uh, try. Yep, we can do it. Sell this too, and there it is. There it is. Uh, With seven rounds left, is it better to go four two zeros or O two fours from our sell back? Yeah, so one extra BRF for the fertilizer, just so we have that active, and then the rest will be in central markets up till round 50... Seven, I think, is the break even or something. Yeah, and so in the spirit of annoying ranked bosses, what we are going to do is, of course, uh, sell all the farms again, rinse and repeat for tier two. Boy, do I love this game mode. I feel like I could have done more with $50,000 sitting around, but whatever. We'll just hang on to the money, because I guess we're making so much every single round. $88,000, my god. Now, if I sell all of these, 184. So, what people have been doing is a, a temple for tier two it is affordable let me just first make sure that i have um 50k of sacrifices for support all right i'm selling the brf2 or the banana central for a whopping three hundred thousand dollars yeah we're just gonna play it super safe with the support sacks i think this is this is clear 50k by a good amount so now we blast off and what we want to place around our temple here is spike factories so basically, the insta kill meta is indeed spike storms. Spam one four zeros and buff them like crazy, aka with a homeland defense. Now we're also going to be using Reju potions, so we get it up instantly. Oh, I also think I forgot the tech where I had to buy Geraldo um at level eleven earlier to get two Rejuves, but now I only got one, so that's gonna make our kill a little bit slower. But hopefully, again, it's still viable enough. 
Okay, leave some money for a, a rejuve. And yep, that's about it. All right, um, sharpening stone as well. That is nine temple buffed. Uh, everything debuffed. Spike storms uh, with homeland as well. So let's begin. Rejuve. And we have to spam. Come on. There we go. This, this, and this. And this is going to be way faster than tier one. Look at that. That's definitely a bit overkill. But that's what you got to do to make up for a, a slow tier one. Nice. Now we begin the slow process of uh, selling everything for our, or like, farms again. Uh, what can I sell? Oh, they're all unsellable, of course. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Blast Populous. Okay. I want to keep the temple because one, it makes money, and two, I, again, I can't be bought to keep buying and reselling it. We also want to make use of the discount of the uh, temple. So 20%, which allows us to get a 20% cheaper banana central and all that good stuff. So yeah, now it's under 100k. Awesome. So yeah, I see our income is much lower than it was before round 60, but don't worry. We'll get back up to speed very, very, very soon. Now, uh, I don't know what else to do for tier 3, other than do the same thing, but more, like, I don't know about tier 5 temple, but that might be on the books. Tier 5 and just, like, way more spike factory is, uh, that sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Worst of all, you can't even farmer or tech bot. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't, they couldn't allow those kill wild things. Uh, after all, it doesn't make you more money, it just, uh, makes it easier for yourself. But no, we gotta do all that as well. Yeah, again, sorry if I'm complaining too much, but that really is the reality of, like, time bosses. Or just ranked in general for bosses. It's so much of a grind fest if you are if you want to go for a top time that I understand why a lot of people don't like these kind of things. This is actually why I enjoy Elite much more, because Elite strategy uh, might be more focused on not spamming the whole map with weak stuff, but getting high degree Paragon, so it's a little bit easier spam-wise. I believe I can fit four of these farms in here. Yeah, and that's about all the farms I can fit under uh, the temple discount range, I believe. So we might as well sell the temple at this point. Because I just re remembered, like, if I'm getting tier 5 temple, I'd rather keep this around. So I might shift it. Actually, before I sell the temple, I just remembered, I should make sure to use the uh, discount for the Ofox too, because remember the strategy, overclocking each BRF is actually uh, worth it. And I changed my mind. I'm going to keep the temple, actually, because it gives range, so this can affect more farms at once. And I'm lazy to replace it at the moment. We can now do the same thing we did last time, aka uh, with eight, seven rounds left, just switch to doing O24s. That also makes it easier for me to collect less farms all over the place. And with that, we're done. It's round 75 and the entire map is filled with the farms. Again, most I can do is add Monkey City is where uh, there is room to, but that's about it. Now we just uh, see how much money I can sell for all these. Again, probably enough for a, a TSG. So I'm just gonna start like building something around early. Reason being, God forbid I have to redo like it's killing a certain tier. You have no idea how much uh, effort it would take to build back up said thing. So this saves just a little bit. So first things first, 50k stack again. Oops, we got rid of some uh, flavor traits too. I guess we got a little bit of military sprinkle in, but we don't want any because it pretty much adds zero damage. And TSG. That should be the full stack. And now I slowly build stuff in the crack, so it takes less time to build them back up. So we're going to do a mix, aka uh, the front's going to be tax, the back's going to be spikes. Anyway, again, I don't want to sell too many farms. Uh, maybe just the O24s. Yeah, these are the most expendable. I'd like to keep the BRFs. Actually, not these ones, of course. These ones have the prime real estate, so they must be uh, deleted. I shouldn't have sold that many. I think I I don't have enough to spend on. I'm not even kidding. So sharpening stone, some of the spikes. Uh, and yeah, again, we just do it again. Here we are. This is going to pass by really quickly. Let's go now. Oh my god, the lag. Rejuve. And, uh, come on. Spam. 22 spike storms. Uh, rejuve? Can I get it off? 24 more spike storms. Good lord. Blast Populous. I don't know what to say to you, or I can't say anything to you because you just died. 
way too quickly before I got the words out. So that leaves me hopeful that, like, this can still work for a tier 4, and thus, I I think I'm just going to keep most of this, de this defense around, okay? Like, we already have infinite money. Like, there's no... I don't think there's too much point of replacing these. We don't sell any of them. The only thing we do is replace maybe the overclocks in the middle for a better um, spots. You know, move overclocks outside of temple range and then replace them with spike factories later. Anyway, let me just go ahead and finish my uh, the era of army so that, like, the additional things we add, aka Paragons, can uh, maybe shave some time off tier 4 and 5. I'm thinking adding Dark Paragon tier 4. Ace and Boat can be tier 5. So somebody reminded me to buy hockey for Redrew Potion, and apparently I already have it at P. So I gotta try and remember that next time. <laughs> P for the Redrew because there's no way in hell with the lag I could, like, drag it. Especially for the next tiers. This time we're going to be proactive, like several rounds before. I think it's worth it to just get rid of literally any farm under Temple Range to build said Spike Factories. This will buy us enough time too for the Perm Brew to land on him. But again, like, as, as many as I'm going to build here, like, there's only so fast I can click the button to use the ability. So it's not like all these are going to end up being useful. So maybe I'll stop at a certain point and then just build expensive stuff like, you know, MAD. I'll do that now so I don't forget. Yeah, this is going to be a Legend of the Night. I'm going to see what it does, okay? That's it. Okay, overclock every overdrive next to range. God, do we really have to try out this much? Not really. But while I'm already here... Why not? So, Apex Plasma, right now, no Cash Lighter, because it probably barely makes a difference. Although, if I know it'd be 54, I might have put more into 60. I even have enough money to go for, like, another Paragon. You know what? Let's do Bolt right now. Okay, so as it currently stands, the Spike Storm ability is on hotkey number 7. Let's first use Cash Lighter. I'm gonna use Cash Lighter on the boat, because I want at least 40 on it. So let's say a $1 million boat paragon. And I promise that was my first try. <laughs> Beautiful. Nailed it. All right. So uh, shall we begin? So I don't have to use the hockey for the redo of like for the first one because it's not like it yet. So three, two, one, go. There. And then spam five, six, seven. Come on. Come on. Here we are. One frame per second. Wait, wait. Wait. Dude, I can't even use all 50 Spike Storms. This is madness. Yeah, there's no need for a second rejuve. Look at it. Look at it go from one to the next. You don't even see it go halfway. Literally one frame. And the, the skull is gone. Damn. I thought there it would at least take more than one frame per, per skull here, but... Okay, I guess not. Now I gotta see a pop count check. Which one did the most? I think this one was... um skewed because I got it early. I got a Ledger of the Night here. 33k. That's a good indicator <laughs> of uh, what they helped out with. But I think we are currently on pace to get sub 2. Unless I'm maybe overestimating tier 5. But I'm hoping again by then I'll have the fattest Ace Paragon alive. Although again, since I sold my income I may not have as much as I thought. Wait, I just realized that Lord of the Abyss, because it Gives Pierce. I should have done this, like, around all the spikes. That would have been, like, made even faster than it already was, even though it was already very fast. This is viable. And then for the other spikes, I guess we can try to find spots for uh, Abyssal Warriors. Oh, right, Snipers, Snipers. People do Snipers. Choose your fours. I just realized that that is probably uh, more lag-free than other things. And we don't have to keep... We don't have to use an ability for it to be viable, so yeah. Two is your fours with whatever space we have remaining, and uh, yeah, Ace Paragon, as I said. Okay, so before the boss comes in, let's make sure to use our 10 overclocks on the tax here, because that's probably where they're most beneficial, and uh, I guess we'll build our Ace now. I'll leave a little bit left over, let's say 50-ish K, to, in case I want something else. And uh, I nailed it again. Guess I'm on a roll today, what can I say? Uh, so since the ability is on cooldown, I don't care. I just want the ace damage. Alright, couple of these, and I think we're ready. Three, two, one. Let's begin. Okay, quickly, this. So spam two, okay? And then homeland. Come on, and glue storm, please. Glue storm. 
Unfortunately, I cannot see how quickly the bar is going down until these goals here. Let's see. Oh, it's taken more than a frame. What a tragedy, guys. <laughs> Blast Pop is only popping in uh, three seconds instead of one. Terrible. Okay, we ran out Spike Storm, so P. Can I even get it off? Yes, I can. No. I'm literally spamming it. It's not responsive. Now it is, but it's a little bit too late, isn't it? Yeah, these spikes aren't really going to help much, but... Uh, I think we did it. No penalty on even beating the rounds. Which means... I think given the death animation, it is sub-2. sub, th sub two. Come on, let's confirm it. Confirm it. No, went over 2. Ah, uh, unlucky. Actually, well over 2. Damn, 202. Again, if my tier 1 was better, that's probably where I'd save 99% of the money. But GG. Let's first see what did the most. It's not accurate because this just hooked in everything. 4,000 damage on the mat? My goodness. I guess the projectile lifespan killed it. That was worthless. As you would expect from, like, so many different towers, the damage is spread pretty evenly across the board. That puts us, wow, 13th. I was aiming for top 50, but I guess only with two hours work, we finished just outside of top 10.